So I reached out to Earth Rated because it's springtime and we were in desperate need of some dog wipes. And these are unscented, um, alcohol-free, compostable, hypoallergenic dog wipes. Because Shindo and I go on long super walks in the park and stuff and hiking. And um, he gets super muddy. So it's great to have dog wipes on hand. And they sent us this whole goodie goodie basket, this box of goodies, um, just out of the kindness of their hearts. And that is unbelievably sweet. It is a company located in Canada. And so they shipped all this stuff to the U.S. for <laughs> Shindo and Yuki. And that's really cool. And all I wanted was dog wipes. But they were so unbelievably sweet. And they brought some goodies for me and the pups. So... First thing I wanted to share with you guys, and the first thing I was super excited about was the dog wipes. This is great to have in your bag when you go hiking or just throw it in the car when you're done walking your dog because it's springtime and, you know, rain and mud, and this will get all the dirt off. So I'm so excited about these, and I always go with unscented because my dogs have skin issues when it comes to scents and perfumes and things like that. So, and this is the sizing of the uh that's the sizing of the sheets and everything so i'm so excited for these yay i'm going to share with you everything else they just put in here um we see this little cute canvas bag never stop wagging and i can just put all oh, a little bit of stuff in there for the dog park and it has this cute image on the back isn't that adorable and they sent two bandanas. Shindo is currently wearing his. And this one is for Yuki. So that was super sweet of them. And they're on uh, hashtag Facebook and Instagram. And everything like that. And they sent us uh, poop bags. Eco-friendly poop bags. Which is really cool because I'm always in the need for some poop bags. And there's eight rolls in here and it's made with recyclable cardboards and it's made with recycled cardboard cores so that's cool yep oh they have in french too for the french speakers and this was the um postcard they sent us they're just so sweet they sent us all this stuff, like, and it has a little print of the nose boop right there. <laughs> they sent us some stickers. And they sent us um, these dog tags. Look how cute they are with their little logo on it and everything. Um, I They were on two separate things, but I condensed it to one because I just wanted to throw some of the trash out. But it has their names on the back like how adorable is that engraved that was yuki's and this one is shindo's that's so cute and they say different things and they sent a fur eliminating roller this one's really cool because it's not a paper uh sticky one it's i believe you use it and then you wash it so um you use it and you wash it and you let it dry so you don't have to keep tossing out those sticky sheets that are on normal lint rollers. So that was really cool. They sent a wooden pencil or a wooden pen. And a notebook, which we'll be using for sure. And... Inside was a uh, in case of emergency, please save our pets. I'll put this on my window for sure. I've been looking to get another one of these because I had it in my old apartment, but now I'm in a house and I need this for sure for both of my dogs when I'm not home. And <laughs> they sent this little like collector's card, Rudy Bubs Senior. How adorable is that? <laughs> That's so cute. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> and what I'm also excited about is that they sent us 
a poop bag holder with another roll of poop bags in there. That's really cool. Like, I cannot believe they sent us all this stuff. This is really super sweet of them. They didn't even have to do it. And what I love also is that, can you see it here? It's a paw print. It says, handpicked by Helen, and then it says, thoroughly sniffed by Rudy, and <laughs> that's Rudy. <laughs> that's so cute. Like, they cleverly thought everything out in this box, and I cannot thank them enough. I love everything in here, and I can't wait to use it all. Good morning! It is Easter Sunday and I'm on my way to my mom's house. My family is going to do this little Easter gathering thing and I'm going to go pick up a few items before I go. I'm going to get some, um, hopefully find some flowers and um, a vase and I don't know, whatever else they need before I actually get to my mom's house. So I hope everybody's having a good Easter. It's such a pretty day. It really is. The sun's out and everything. So the other day I was watching TV, it was like 11.30 at night, almost midnight, and all of a sudden I heard like this big bang, like it shook my whole house. I literally thought that someone ran into my house, like or, you know, like hit it or something, or I'm under a flight path for airplanes, or that a piece of a plane fell from the sky or something, and I looked around, my house was fine. I went outside, all my neighbors were outside too, so they felt it, they heard it, and everything. Like, the whole house shook. Like, I thought it was a big accident. And then, I look on the news, there was an explosion at a paint plant. And we felt it all over this area, in, in our neighborhood, and it shook the whole freaking house. Like, it was huge. I thought it was like an earthquake or something, I don't know, like... That's insane. I've never experienced like an explosion like that before. And it was, um, I guess it's like a few blocks away from us. But I was so scared. Like someone ran into my house. Like I can't even tell you all the things that were going through my mind. Like it was just so random and loud. Like it was so freaking loud. I could not believe it. And then I started seeing the news stories roll in about the explosion and, like, someone's missing, and a few people were um, injured, and I'm not, I think maybe one or two people died or something. That was insane, and I'm glad my house is safe. I'm glad the neighborhood's safe again, and that it's all been taken care of, because that was insane.